my watch friends. I got another one, and this one is actually from Wrist Mafia. So I joined their six month um, subscription, and uh, we'll see if it's any good. Oddly enough, they are located just down the street. Well, not down the street, a couple hours away. But they're located in West Palm, which is about two hours from me. So I can always pay them a visit. Let's see. Mason and Company Heritage Racer. All right, we'll see. Well, not bad. Inexpensive, but not bad. All right. See if I can find a video, otherwise we'll get right into the review. So this video will be a little different. This is actually going to be um, a review of my first Wrist Mafia. Now Wrist Mafia is a little bit different. Now you guys know that I do Watch Gang and uh, I've been, you know, pretty much really happy with Watch Gang uh, and, and, and I mean that. Now I'm doing the Watch Gang Black. Wrist Mafia is a little different. They don't have... Um, tiers right they have the the their only tier is just the um is well they only have one tier uh quite frankly so I guess it's not really a tier then is it um their watches are in the price range of 33 dollars if you do one individually if you do it month to month now they also have uh package deals where they'll where they will do it in three and six month intervals, meaning that you pay ahead for three months, you pay ahead for six months. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not disappointed with them, but I am learning. I'm cautiously optimistic. And one of the things that I found too is that they um, they don't disclose their, their shipping costs. Now, I think Wit also mentioned this too on his uh, watch wit. He also mentioned this on his site as well, because uh, I think he did it too. And they did not disclose the uh, the, the shipping cost either. So you're kind of hit with it, and it ends up being about eight dollars ninety five cents. So if you're buying a watch, thirty three dollars, you're paying about nine dollars shipping. You're paying another few dollars for tax. It ends up coming out to um, ends up coming out to almost fifty dollars, uh, maybe forty five bucks. I think is is what you end up getting. So you know that's that's not horrible, but um, you know, you, you, they, they state that you get a watch that is valued at a hundred dollars. Now that's an MSRP value. Um, I don't know if that really coincides, but we'll see. This is a watch that I got. Um, it's a Mason and, uh, Mason and company heritage racer. So, you know, it's an interesting name. Uh, it's a name that you can kind of Make it seem like it's got, I mean, they add heritage to make it seem like it's been around for a while. It's not a bad watch. I mean, I'm looking at it and it's, it's, um, it's not exceptionally high quality, but, um, it's not, it's not horrible. Now, this might be something that I'm just going to be honest when I'm looking at it now. Um, this might be something that I would pay perhaps, I don't know, um, probably $30 for at a, at a, uh, at a bazaar. Now the watch trap is nice, right? Like I like it when they do this, um, you know, when they do the stitching, it's decent. Um, I'm always a little apprehensive when I see buckles like this. Cause look, I can just, I can just take this apart. 
See, look at that. And, and I, I'm not a fan of that. There's others that I've seen that are much higher quality. Um, and I'm just, I'm just not thrilled with that, with this. I'm, I'm not even gonna put it back, I'll do it later. But um, yeah, so, you know, the watch is nice. It, it's, it's good quality, hard mineral crystal. I don't think you're ever gonna get a sapphire watch. And so I shouldn't, uh, you know, I, I'm probably being a little bit unfair because I should not be um, judging these watches based on what I would expect to get from a black tier watch king, right? I'm paying, I'm paying basically $50 a watch. Now, I got it through their, um, what the hell is it called? Cyber Friday or Cyber Monday or Friday, Black Friday deal. So I signed up for their six months. So I'm going to be getting five more. And I'm not disappointed, right? I ended up getting 40% off. I think it was 40% off. So it's not that bad. Um, total I paid with shipping for six months and tax. I think it was about $168, right? Which is kind of the same cost as their their um their six month deal would be before the shipping and tax and honestly i'll tell you when i signed up for watch gang for black um that's kind of what they did to me also right uh they said hey here's the price but we'll give you 40 percent discount or something like that if you sign up now or 10 percent off and so i went ahead and did the 10 percent off and then when the total cost came it was the same price as they were basically advertising because they took off you know, they, they cut back the, the price that basically uh, normalized the tax and the shipping. So, you know, this is a decent watch, right? Like, I wouldn't be embarrassed to watch, the, uh, to, you know, to look at this. Um, I, I can't say too much about this brand. I kind of feel like they were just stood up really quick uh, as part of the, um, you know, this, this watch enthusiast um, kind of hobby thing that's exploded recently. Now, there have always been watch enthusiasts, but there's a lot of company producing quick watches like this. So I'm probably paying, uh, they're obviously making a profit. So uh, I don't know that I would necessarily say that they, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a profit, right? I mean, that's that's what drives the that's what drives economies. But um, I don't know that this is a $100 watch. Like I said, it feels like, you know, being fair, right? Being fair probably feels like maybe a $30, $35 watch. So... I'm probably paying uh, about what it's worth. Um, of course, I'm paying for shipping and tax on it. So that's what it is. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't look bad. I mean, you can see there's kind of neat styling. It gives you the impression that it's going to be a chronograph because you see the what looks like a sub dial at the 12 and sub at the 6. But, of course, it's not. Now, they do have one. Um, this company does have one. And I'll put a picture of it right there. Uh, and it is actually quite nice. Um I mean, quite nice. It's probably maybe another twenty dollars worth. So I don't know if I'll get one, but you know, I'm I'm not disappointed. Uh, this is this is what I should expect for paying thirty three dollars for a uh, a watch service. You know, I got a good deal. This is a nice strap. It's a nice watch. It's probably not one that I'll necessarily sell because I don't know if anybody's going to really be interested in it. But um, I'm optimistically um, positive on on uh, wrist mafia so so we'll see um i'm gonna give it sort of uh, this probably isn't their best one um i'd like to think that if you're just starting off they're gonna give you a really good watch so you'd be like man i got a good deal because i know um uh watch game gave me a hair tour uh with a 35 uh with an nh35a automatic and it was a good watch definitely worth what i what i put into it and i ended up selling it and i actually ended up making a little bit of money on it um so it's just what it is but um yeah so it's a nice watch i'm happy with it i may actually take the uh the strap off put it on another watch and then put like a a black strap like this on here back black nylon and this is what i've been looking for a watch to wear like when i'm actually just working in the yard um and that's not to say that I intend to ruin this, but I want something that looks nice that I'm not afraid to get scratched, right? Because all my other watches, like, I don't really want to ruin them. I don't want to ruin this one either, but it's at least nice. It's a nice hard mineral crystal. It feels, I, I will say it feels like quality. So I think I got my money's worth. I don't think I got $100 value, but I do think I got my money's worth. And for that, I'm going to give it just a slight thumbs up. But we'll see. Um, I've got five more watches to go, and so we'll see how those turn out. Now I'm going to do just some quick review sizing because I know that you guys are interested. And you're not just interested in 
that. So 42 width, log 22, which is pretty standard. Um, I always fail on this. Let's see. I'm going to say 10. 11. All right. All right. Well, let's do the... That's about right. 46. Okay, not bad. And I don't think there's any loom, but if there is, I'm going to put a picture of it up here. I think it's just the hands. doesn't look like anything else lights up except just the hands, not even the second hand. So um, I'll do weight. What the heck? Here I am. So we'll say, I'm just going to say 50. About 50 grams. I don't know what it is in stones. Sorry. I don't know what my weight is in stones. I wish I knew. Uh, I think it'd be a lot of stones, although I've been working out. So, and I'm about average for my height, but <laughs> we'll see. I could stand to lose a little bit of weight. All right. If you like this video and you want to see more, please let me know. I'm also interested in anyone else that has wrist mafia and let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to do the reviews for the six months and then I'll see if it's worth it to renew. Maybe if they give me a deal, I will. Um, at this point, I think Watch Gang is a little bit more, uh, they have a little bit more experience. So we'll see. But I got this early. Uh, this came pretty quick. So shipping was good. So we'll see. All right, please subscribe and give me a like. Thank you.